For the body to function adequately, pretty much everything has to be at balanced levels, and it's just like that with estrogen. Estrogens are a group of hormones that play an important part in normal sexual and reproductive development mostly in women. Even though it can be also present in men, it comes in really small amounts, and that's why estrogen is mostly attributed to females. These hormones, however, need to be at balanced levels to not affect the body negatively, as there are quite a number of things that can result from high estrogen levels. In today's video, we'll be taking you through 12 alarming signs that mean you have too much estrogen. Stay tuned guys! If you've not already taken the action, please subscribe to the channel for more amazing content like this. Now back to the video. Number 1. Irregular menstrual periods Irregular periods are when your period shows up either early or late, and while there could be a quite a number of things responsible for it such as stress or weight changes, irregular periods can also be an indicator of high estrogen levels in the body. Several hormones working in perfect harmony are what bring about periods, and in a case where one of them, in this case, estrogen is at elevated levels, it can result in a disruption in the whole process. Number 2. Weight Gain One of the many common signs of too much estrogen is unintentional weight gain. If you're suddenly gaining weight, especially in your hip area, it just might be a sign. Just as it can result in weight gain, elevated levels of estrogen might also make it hard to lose any extra weight gain. Well, that is, until you have the levels checked and then balanced. Number 3. Cold Hands or Feet As part of the signs that you just might have too much estrogen, there's a chance you develop actual cold feet or hands. This has to do with blood circulation in the body, and if you're wondering what the connection with estrogen is, well, estrogen happens to affect almost every tissue or organ system, including the heart and blood vessels. They've been known to promote clot formation and also help damage blood cells heal, particularly at balanced levels. Impaired circulation, resulting from high estrogen levels, is pretty serious and its major symptom involves people experiencing cold feet or hands. Number 4. Headaches According to a study by the Atlanta Center for Behavioral Medicine in the United States, it was reported that women suffer more headaches than men due to the hormone levels in their system. In the study, several things were attributed to this issue, and one of them just happens to be estrogen which is even believed to be responsible for migraines. If you've been wondering why you have frequent headaches, too much estrogen can be attributed to it, if the headaches are not as a result of maybe stress or something else. Number 5. Disrupted Sleep or Lack of Sleep Progesterone is a hormone present in the body that helps you to relax and chill out when you need to. However, estrogen happens to be the exact opposite. The hormone is one for excitement and to keep your body active and going, so it's pretty much not a surprise to find out that too much of it would surely disrupt your sleep or make it hard for you to sleep. Number 6. Mood Swings Not only does estrogen represent a hormone for sexual and reproductive development in women, but it is also quite important for emotions and mental state in women. During the monthly menstrual cycle, women are known to experience a roller coaster of emotions or mood swings and one major thing that can be attributed to its high estrogen levels. In addition to that, elevated estrogen levels can also result in what is called agitated depression, which is usually a mix of both anxiety and depression. Number 7. Swollen or Tender Breasts Aside from being the reason behind mood swings during the menstrual cycle, cases of breast changes are common also during that time have been attributed to hormonal changes. So if you're feeling a sudden change in your breasts, whether they're swollen or feeling sore, especially in the front and around the nipples, too much estrogen might just be the reason for it. Number 8. Fibrocystic Breasts In most cases, fibrocystic breasts are attributed to high estrogen and low progesterone levels, with the imbalance causing the connective breast tissue to grow more than usual and create a lumpy feel in such a way it feels like you've got a coil of rope in the breast. While the case is known to not be very serious, it can sometimes be painful and uncomfortable. Number 9. Hair Loss Quite incredibly, high estrogen levels can also result in the thinning of your hair which could eventually result in shedding more hair than usual, and then finally resulting in hair loss. If you've ever noticed you've been shedding your hair at an abnormal rate, or you've probably lost more hair in a short time, you might want to look for ways to keep your estrogen levels low. Number 10. Memory Loss 
In the study of the brain, estrogen levels are known to help regulate cortisol levels, which helps with the communication function in the brain. In the case where they are reduced, the estrogen lacks the capacity to control the cortisol any longer, and as a result can lead to lapses in memory. However, just like low levels can impact the brain negatively, high levels of estrogen have also been attributed to memory loss in recent times. Number 11. Low Sex Drive According to several studies, it's been shown that low levels of estrogen can cause painful intercourse due to vaginal dryness, as well as mood swings, hence reducing sex drive. However, just like with memory loss, high levels of estrogen have also been attributed to low sex drive as well as one of the major causes, which is mood swings. Number 12. Fatigue There are pretty much a lot of things that can result in fatigue. Lack of sleep and frequent headaches are just two of them, and in a case where your fatigue is a result of any of them or coupled with any of the other signs in this list, then it just might be too much estrogen in the body. If any of these signs looks or sounds like you, then you should consider seeing a doctor and look at ways to reduce your estrogen levels. Don't forget to subscribe. Till next time, bye.